communication systems can be used in several different configurations, depending on users' needs, types of applications, and responsiveness of the system. During the past 60 years, three types of processing configurations have emerged, centralized, decentralized, and distributed. In a centralized processing system, all processing is done at one central computer. In a decentralized processing system, each user, department, or division has its own computer, sometimes called an organizational unit, for performing processing tasks. Distributing processing solves two main problems, the lack of responsiveness in centralized processing and the lack of coordination in decentralized processing by maintaining centralized control and decentralizing operations. The advantages include accessing unused processing power being possible. Modular design means that a computer power can be added or removed based on need and distance and location are not limiting. But there are some disadvantages, including there may be more security and privacy challenges, there may be more incompatibility between various pieces of equipment, and managing the network can be challenging. The Open Systems Interconnection Model is a seven-layer architecture for defining how data is transmitted from one computer to another in a network. 